You may remember Chris Bove, the legally blind man advocating for a change of RIPTA's ride program. He says Rhode Island is taking a step in the right direction now that the state's approved budget includes $75,000 for RIPTA to conduct a study of the program. Target 12 consumer investigator Sarah Grinelli has more on that story. Sarah? Chris Bove is hoping that this study will, above all, expand the service of the ride program to parts of Rhode Island where the bus doesn't have access. The restriction on where you can and cannot go. Chris Bove, a legally blind man, has been outspoken about his good and bad experiences with RIPTA's ride program, the service that gets those with disabilities around the state of Rhode Island. As a person who is legally blind, I would say the biggest struggle in my life where it's really frustrating to have a disability is my limitations on being able to independently get around the state. The ride program complies with the American with Disabilities Act. Under the ADA, the service must operate within three quarters of a mile on either side of a fixed route, meaning places like Little Compton are unreachable for riders. As a person with a disability uh, who lacks the ability to drive, uh, I do not think that my zip code should determine my access to reliable transportation. Bove has been advocating for change and the expansion of the service. Governor Dan McKee signed the new state budget requiring RIPTA to use $75,000 of additional gas tax money to conduct a study of the paratransit bus service in the state. We're making very good progress um, on an issue that will affect the lives um, of Rhode Islanders with disabilities in such a significant way. According to a spokesperson from RIPTA, the study will look at designing a statewide program addressing the needs of older adults and individuals with disabilities traveling outside the current paratransit service area. Bo says this is a step in the right direction. Expanding the service would be life changing. Knowing that I, I wouldn't have to worry about that anymore would, I can't even begin to describe to you with words uh, what that would mean to me and to people like me. So according to RIPTA, more than 3,700 passengers are enrolled in this program. The report is due to the General Assembly by January of next year. Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.